Lucy Larita for her slam on converting trash into cash using the Earth's smallest inhabitants. Lucy, please. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to watch our science slam. I'm so glad to be here to stand in front of you to tell about what I'm researching. So, uh, my name is Lucy, I'm from Hokkaido University. I want to tell a story of a little girl. I still remember it was 1992 in a small village in Indonesia. When electricity hadn't come yet, to that small village. So imagine our life without electricity. For this little girl, tomorrow was her math exam and she needed to study that night. So she brought out this small, small jar, filled it with oil, secured the lid and with a string in the center and she lit up this oil light. That's how she could study for her tomorrow exam. That little girl was me. And this picture tells a story of many other children living without electricity. I guess not many of you know this conventional iron, right? Before electrical irons produced by big companies like Panasonic or Sharp, we used this thing to iron our school uniforms. So we opened it and we put on hot charcoal, secured it and started ironing. Life was hard, wasn't it? Without electricity, without energy. And these days, 1.3 billion people living in developing countries still suffer from energy poverty, no access to electricity or energy. On the other hand, 40% of global population still lack access to clean water due to water scarcity, pollution, or other contaminations. So these two global problems provide us opportunity to use technology to do innovation to address both of the pain people are suffering and at the same time simultaneously. Well, one man's trash can be another man's treasure. So land pillaged or wastewater from landfill that contain organic matter is a treasure. Treasure. If we know how to use this to produce electricity using bacteria. So today I will share with you how to convert this unused resource into renewable energy. The answer is microbiofuel cells, or MFC. MFC produces electricity directly from bacteria, the Earth's tiniest inhibitor, without consuming conventional energy resources. You know conventional energy resources such as natural gas or oil, they are not renewable. And in this system, in this MFC, consists of two electrodes. one anode and one cathode. And as we can see from the reaction in anode, the organic compounds from wastewater has chemical energy that can fuel MFC, the bacteria, to release electron flow. And this electron flow is the electricity that we can harness and use for energy. So the bacteria get food from wastewater for survival while we get electricity for energy, it representing mutual symbiosis between human and microorganism. Besides producing electricity, MFC can reverse the process to produce hydrogen gas, and hydrogen gas also another clean energy. And now let's take a close look to the bacteria. 
This geophagous species was first cultured from ocean sediment. And the uniqueness of this species is that it has pili, the hairy thing that releases electron. And this is the electron that we use for electricity. How does it work? The biofilm that attached to the electrode contains this bacteria. And so far, 80% of the organic compounds has been successfully removed from wastewater. So if an MFC is installed in a water treatment plant for 10,000 inhabitants, it could produce 0.8 megawatts, sufficient to power 500 homes. So I will also share about the merit of MFC compared to other energy and in wastewater technology. In energy production, Unlike fossil fuels that take millions of years to develop, MFC produces electricity within a short period of time. And also, unlike methane or CO2 that contribute to climate change problems, MFC generates electricity with much, much less emission. Thus, it's also good for environmental protection. On the other hand, in wastewater technology, do you know that all manufacturing industry need to treat their wastewater before releasing it to the nature? You know about it, right? Otherwise, the wastewater can contaminate the nature. And wastewater treatment is very costly. This activated sludge treatment, the commonly used to treat wastewater, already consume more than half of the energy budget. But with MFC, it not only reduces the treatment cost, but also it can produce electricity. And this electricity can be used to power the operation itself. I contacted some big companies, and the questions were be, how will you bring this research from lab to market, to business? As researchers, as students, we only do our research in the lab. And we hope one day that our invention can go through commercialized in the market. And that's the question from the business side. So I prepare the break-even cal calculations for water treatment plant and for manufacturers. You know that break-even point is the point where the profit and the cost are at the equilibrium. So the BEP can be achieved by a water treatment plant if the energy generated and the sludge disposal cost that can be avoided with 20,000 US dollar and it can be achieved within five years. Similarly, for a manufacturers, they can achieve BEP when 5,000 units of MFC sold worldwide and achieve income 2.5 million US dollar. And the next question is, who will be the customer of MFC? You know that 75% of the world's energy is consumed in cities and 30% of it already used for water treatment. And 70% of the world population will live in cities by 2050. So it simply means that the more population, the more energy needed. And MFC is one of the promising solutions for energy production. And if we talk about the market size, because businessmen always want to know Size. Water treatment and renewable energy, their market size are increasing. And current situation shows that MFC is still not enough to grow exponentially in global energy market. It's obvious that MFC could be half shared in a renewable energy production. As concluding remark. I would like to highlight that MFC is a new method in renewable energy without consuming conventional energy resources. And the second thing is MFC represents a mutual symbiosis between human and microorganisms. And I believe with MFC, we can make a sustainable progress to improve quality of life without damaging the earth. 
Uh, last but not least, I would like to encourage all of us to use energy wisely and 